QS26, which is a where use list. And here you can enter the name of my MIC, which is this. Click on usage. So it will show you wherever this MIC is used. These three plans, inspection plan, with these group and group counter detail, the MIC is assigned to it. With this sampling procedure, valid from this. Click on this characteristics. We can check the detail for the MIC. But my MIC, which at present is used in my inspection plan, if you click on this characteristics in the task list display, then it will show you the version which is used is version 5. Current version is 5. Enter QP02 and material is this, plant is this, press enter key. If you check the details, this is the MIC ALN. Version 5 I am using for this MIC with this sampling procedure. It's already there in another two inspection plan also. Amount of it slash N. See this MIC of plant 1710. Click on usage overview. It's also used in the task list for the calibration equipment task list E and remaining are the inspection plan that it's present in a certificate profile also, this MIC. And if you click on certificate profile, this is the profile name where it is used. The certificate type is this. You can check the profile detail from here also. This is the MIC. Let me go back. You can check the uh, the MIC is present in where use list, not only in the inspection plan, but also in the certificate profile or even in the class characteristics it is assigned. Then it will take you to that also, or even if it is present in a material specification, then it will give you that also at present. It is giving me the error message that it is not used in any material specification, which is there at present here in this. And if I take, say, this MIC, click on usage here, the change number is also coming. So whatever data, um, is required, you can keep that from the change layout. We can remove that plant and the version because if I'm not using it, I don't want it, continue.